he starts early, you know, and works with us a little bit, and it kind of just glides right into making the movie. There doesn't seem to be any sort of bumps along the way, and then all of a sudden you're filming the movie. And, you know, and, and it all feels like you're just kind of hanging out together and you happen to be making a movie. You know, before I did this, these were celebrities. You know, I didn't know what these what, what these people do if they go back to their trailer and like plug themselves back in or whatever. I didn't know, um, but they're just such good people and, and the the best possible people I I could have worked with. And... Are you trying to lift down my shirt? No. <laughs> yes. You're gonna get me fired. This is your Rubicon. Do not cross the Rubicon. Holdovers. Hey there, Paul. I loved this movie so much. It's my favorite movie of the year. I saw it at TIFF. It, it blew me away. I'm so happy to talk to you about this. Thank you. It's, it's great to hear. Thank you. So as an actor, do you find it rarer to get offered, though, these kinds of kind of character based movies, which I, I remember used to be relatively, you know, common back in, in the 90s and certainly in the 70s. Um, is yeah. it rare for you to get something like this now? It's, it's, it's been rarer than it was. Yeah. You're right. I mean, it's gotten more rare. So, mm -hmm. yes. So and certainly it's super rare to be offered one that's going to be directed by Alexander. But uh, so that's 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 super rare. But um, yeah, you're right. They're, they're rarer. Yeah. Well, and this high quality too. Yeah. I, I mean, it, you know, it's one of those films that makes you laugh, it makes you cry, it makes you run the whole gamut. Good. But one of, one of the things that's cool about it is like like Sideways, you're working with a really tight ensemble. Yeah. And does that make it easier for you to kind of relate to each other and develop that real kind of affection that seems to seep through in the film? For like sure. You all seem to really love each other. Yeah, no, for sure. And he builds such a kind of like nice, intimate atmosphere. He starts early, you know, and works with us a little bit, and it kind of just glides right into making the movie. There doesn't seem to be any sort of bumps along the way, and then all of a sudden you're filming the movie. And, you know, and, and it all feels like you're just kind of hanging out together and you happen to be making a movie. You know, and it's like he, he, he throws a very nice party, kind of, as it goes along. Very low-key party, and, and it's, it's lovely. It's super rare. I mean, there's nobody else who does things like he does. Okay, I gotta ask you, I loved the movie. It was, it's probably my favorite of the year, actually. And I understand this is your first acting role in the film. Uh, I was wondering if you could just talk to me a little bit about how you got cast. Yeah, well, thank you, first of all. Um, and yeah, well, I was a senior in high school, when I got cast in this film, I was at uh, Deerfield, which was one of the locations they used in the movie, uh, yeah. as, as, as the fictitious Barton school. Um, and my head of school notified, you know, the acting students that there was a production that was coming and maybe using the school for some scenes. I had no idea how big it, this thing was, you know, I, maybe just a student film or something in, in my mind. <laughs> um, and yeah, the, the casting people came and they saw some kids, you know, for background roles maybe. And, you know, if for me at that time, if things went incredible, I could have been sitting at a desk or something in the classroom. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, it just panned out in, in ways that I could not, couldn't have imagined, you know? When you were testing for the role, did you ever get to act opposite Giamatti, or was that only when the movie, when the shooting actually started? Yes, I got to see Paul over Zoom uh, maybe a, f a few weeks before I ultimately did get the role. Um, but yeah, that was a great highlight of the process. The first time I felt really solid with the character uh, reading with Paul. Yeah. Did Alexander? And make you kind of immerse yourself in, in 70s knowledge and 70s movies when you were going into this to kind of be authentic to the period or did he just kind of let you let you go with the flow? I mean he didn't he didn't force me to do anything but he made himself available in in way I'll never be able to repay him for just the way he would he'd always invite me over you know even after a long day of shooting and he would show me these films, a lot of Hal Ashby films mainly, that you know he was using to reference personally, um, showing me these old performances uh, that, you know, it was, yeah, it was a master class film school with, with Alexander Payne for, for two months while also making a movie with him, which was, yeah, indes indescribable. 
Every year at Barton Academy, students, faculty, and staff depart the campus for a two-week winter break. But there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. Mr. Hunnam. Hello, Mary. I heard you got stuck with babysitting duty this year. How'd you manage that? You know, he used to be a student, right? Yeah, that's why he knows how to inflict maximum pain on us. Well, that's how I imagined maybe guys like Hal Ashby used to make movies yes. back in the 70s with that family atmosphere. Yes. When you're doing something like this and there's comedy and there's tragedy in it, though, how do you walk that fine line? Because it's never saccharine when it's when it's when it's tragedy, but then it's hilarious when it's funny. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. And it's funny. He would say, too, and it's true that I don't think there's even a whole lot of discussion of tone. Dom mm -hmm. was always saying he'll recommend movies for you to watch. And that helps sometimes. But, you know, it's it's true it's the script. Then you find just the actors who seem to be able to do this kind of contradictory thing of funny, sad, sad, and the funny, and those kinds of things. And then he maintains it in a way that I'm sure he wouldn't even be able to explain. You know, it's just somehow he gets you on the same page. I wish I could be more articulate about it. But it's actually I don't really know how it works, you know, but it, but it does. And it, it is down to him controlling it somehow, but it seems invisible how he's doing it. I mean, that's, I think that's what makes him an amazing director. Yeah, though. it is. That's uh, exactly it. Yeah. When you saw the reviews coming in when it premiered, because normally you would have been at the premiere yourself, but you couldn't be because of the strike. Was it gratifying and was it was it a, a, a nice moment when you saw the reviews coming in and people were saying it was a masterpiece and one of the best movies of the year and a 10 on 10 and all that? It was gratifying and it was and I'm glad people really liked it. There was actually something really kind of lovely and fun to not be there. But yeah. to be sitting outside of it, watching this stuff come in, there was something kind of cool about it. It was almost a way, not, not being caught in the middle of it and distracted by everything, that you could really just see this thing happening. It was like kind of cool. You could kind of step back and watch from the sidelines. It was a real weird sense of pride. It's like watching a child go off and do, you know, going and going off into the world. It was really funny. It was great. Well, it made me laugh and it made me cry. So thank you very much. You My bet. favorite movie of the year. Thank you Thanks very much. So when this premiered at the fall festivals during the strike, usually, you know, you guys would have been brought in and there would have been, you know, you would have, you would have been able to experience the movie with an audience. You must have been, what was it like for you when you started seeing the reviews coming in where people were calling it a masterpiece and your performance <laughs> was being raved about? What was, what was that experience like? So it must have been very different from how somebody might have experienced it if you were actually in the theater yourself. Like you got to see this after coming in. It must have been kind of a shock to the system. Oh my gosh, yeah, like you don't, obviously you don't know before before people see it what, what's going to happen, if people yeah. are going to like it, if, you know, mm -hmm. I mean obviously I, I felt some people would probably like it just because Alexander's a great filmmaker, Paul and, and Divine are, are terrific as well, um, but yeah, I, just, I had no idea, I, I didn't really have any expectations about it, so for for anyone to say good things about it is is. I'm so grateful for that, and it's super flattering. And when you were making the film, because it's a small cast, right? It's really just it's three it's three people for most of the movie, sure. I guess, in the, the intimate scenes. Did that make it easy for you guys to build chemistry together? Because it felt like you know, I mean, I know obviously you guys weren't living together, but it, you feel you get that vibe when you're watching the movie. It's like, oh, these three people are getting to know each other really, really well. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, yeah, like there's the th the three of us and and. Just a very intimate setting, the, the whole, everything about it. You know, Alexander being right next to the camera and, and that was super comforting. And then spending all day with Divine and, and Paul as well. Uh, you know, these, I didn't know what they were gonna be like. They're, you know, before I did this, these were celebrities, you know, I didn't know what these, what, what these people do if they go back to their trailer and like plug themselves back in or whatever, I didn't know. Um, but. They're just such good people and, and the, the best possible people I, I could have worked with. And that, I think, hopefully shows on screen that we did genuinely have a good relationship as, as people. It totally does. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.